I'm out here at Willow Creek Springs, which is an organic uh, polyculture nursery and seedling farm that we got going on here. I'm with Joe Gromba, and I'm about to help him dig a hole, which is really exciting. And Joe is going <laughs> to teach us a little bit more about sustainable agriculture. All right, so here's what we do. This is this part right here. I'll let you continue on in this fashion, but all of this that you're looking at used to be plants. So there, there's no dirt here. This isn't this isn't dirt in the sense of clay particles and broken up rocks. This is all what used to be plant material. Mm -hmm. Now I've let this go a little bit long. So if you were to look at this under a microscope, you'd see a lot of this is insect poop. Mm -hmm. And so that's what happens when I've let it go a little bit long. You can see this is actually what happens. In paper, we put a lot of plastic in our paper. People don't realize it, mm -hmm. okay? I can throw in, I can do a little investigative forensic pathology here and determine that this used to be a cup. Hmm. This was a cup that came from a fast food place. Looks like in and out okay? Yeah, it does. It's a paper but, cup, right? But Yeah, it's a paper cup. But what you don't realize in these paper cups is they have a plastic liner <laughs> that keeps it from soaking the, the paper. Mm -hmm. All right, so what happens is, is I toss paper into my organic mix because what happens is the, the worms have this amazing fixative ability. They can fix everything. And by that, I mean two ways of fixing. Fixing means to solve a problem, but it also means to make something so it can't dissolve back into the groundwater. So it fixes heavy metals, it fixes all sorts of toxins so that they don't leach back out and get absorbed into by the plants and in a way that you could eat it and get it. So literally you could have all kinds of toxins out here. The worms come through there and they like encapsulate them. They fix it to where they just pass right through. They don't they don't transfer their badness into something that can turn around like fish go along and eat things that have poison in it and then we eat the fish and we get the poison and so we're all full of heavy metals and getting retarded by generation after generation because we keep eating poison because of things like that well worms are the answer to that they fix it they make these these heavy metals these toxins these um, um, uh, what do you call it um, petrochemicals Hydrocarbons, that's the word I was looking for. They'll actually fix hydrocarbons in a way that they'll become not toxic to you. And so mm -hmm. things that would kill us, you know, benzenes and all these gigantic words that we don't even really know what they mean, but we know they're poisonous. We do it for agriculture science. Exactly. <laughs> the, wor the worms come through there, they gobble it all up, they fix it up, and it becomes just like a rock sitting there unable to hurt anybody. So that's what happens. These worms get through here, and they literally ate all the paper. Okay, there's no paper here left, but that, what they did leave behind was the plastic. You know why? Because worms can't eat plastic. It's that simple. So I go through and I, it's, it's a little bit labor intensive, but it disposes of hundreds of tons of paper that would normally just sit there in a landfill or maybe get burned or whatever. I don't know what all they do with it, but very little paper gets recycled, you know, except for like cardboard and things like that. And this is a perfect way to recycle it. We turn it back into the earth. Very cool. So you look around, you see all these trees? They all get trimmed. All the leaves and branches, it all goes in here. And then when it's done, we dig it up on this side and it's ready to use. Right. So, so it's with a, that, Joe, you want me to start digging? Absolutely, yeah, just fill this sucker up and then we're gonna go ahead. And you don't have to dig down real deep because what happens is you'll find, you'll find where the soil actually begins. It's a lot lighter and harder and it's got, DG and rocks and junk in it. But if you look at it as you're tunneling along, this stuff's really dry. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now it's dry on purpose because when I go to harvest, I don't, I'm not trying to disrupt the worms. Okay, so the worms move over to where it's wet. That's, you see, that's, that's the dirt right there. The indigenous huh? dirt. You want to get a shot of you that? You can see the difference between and the color between. Yeah, yeah, let's have a look. So, remind you I found another piece of plastic. They're both dry. Right. So that darkness that you see isn't from water, it's just from the actual color of the decomposed matter. Humic acid tends to be dark and... And that's different from this actual soil which we can see down under right. here. Right, that soil's and got, got a lot of clay and, and sand yeah. and it's not very nutrient rich and, and it's very difficult for plants to grow in. You can see the so, difference there and then here. 
You can see the difference in the color, and then I can feel the difference you in the feel constitution. The yeah, of the particles. Totally can. And it's a, it's a if you look at soil, you know, I'll condense a four-hour class into a couple of minutes. But the, one of the piece, one of the elements of soil is the sizes of the particles, and that's what tells you whether it's a sandy soil or a loam soil or a silty soil or a clay soil. That's all denoted by the particle sizes. Clay being the smallest particles and sand being the big particles. And so what you have here is a variety of particles, which is what you want. So it holds water, it allows for there to be air spaces so the roots can actually consume air. You know, without air, uh, plants drown. They literally just, you ever seen a plant overwatered or left in a pot of water for too long? and they just sort of turn yellow and they just literally drown because the roots aren't getting oxygen. People think plants only take in CO2 and mm -hmm. breathe out oxygen, but actually okay. plants take in oxygen through the roots mm -hmm. and that oxygen is absolutely necessary for the absorption of nutrients and just the same things it is for us. It's just, it's just it's, they don't use it as their fuel the way we do. So if you look at this, you're getting into some areas that are even better because they still have some organic material. So if you look at this, this was a branch, okay? So what happens over time when the microbes and insects eat it, it turns into a spongy, a spongy organic material. That's the organic material that's used in potting mixes primarily for water retention and, and air. So see that? I just took this branch and I just crumbled it in and it's, it's a spongy, dusty, pretty porous too isn't it? Really really porous holds lots of water and so that's the beauty of you know when I when I'm on my game and I'm not in court fighting battles um, and I get more time to be here um, mm -hmm. I'm usually about two months more caught up on this and there's a lot more of this organic material in it but the worms don't stop they march on they eat every day they're the best workers you ever had because all they want to do is you know you see the guys on the side of the road or at least you used to that would say we'll work for food these guys actually do <laughs> and they'll work for food and you know they not only turn in your your green waste into organic rich material and nutrients but they also aerate your soil so this is probably good enough to do this we'll go yeah. ahead and bring that um bring the shovel oh yeah because we're going to spread it out of course then i'll take you past the worm harvester so you can see oh fantastic what actually we do with this guy all right and we're not making potting mix we are also making nutrients and it's a beautiful thing. So, so Joe, is this your is vermiculture the main? Like, what do you? I know you sell the trees, but can you talk a little bit more about like? Yeah, this is our this is our raw material. I mean, this is our this is our our material that we produce. It's called worm castings. Okay, so it's essentially the poop from the worms. And I think I could even run this thing for you a little bit just so you can see. I'll let you run it, even. Cool. All this is, is it's a tumbler, and it has a screen on it. And I've got it set to where the finer screen is in the front, so most of the finest particles drop down first, and then the big stuff tumbles afterward. Oh, you know what, let me take these things out of here. Now, if I was trying to harvest worms, I would do it kind of the opposite direction, and the worms would get down real fast, and then they would shift their way out and they, they actually come up on one side and you can capture the worms. Cool. But I let the worms be. I'm not here to harvest the worms. When people want to buy worms, I tell them to go to Walmart or some worm farm that sells worms. Because my worms are, they're my, they're my gold. Sure. Okay, so, as I was telling you, this potting mix is very rich in castings. Castings are very small pieces and they're, they're round. They're like little pebbles, okay? And so they kind of fit together. They fit together a little bit tighter than you would want if you're gonna just grow just in castings. The problem with that is that it compacts too much and doesn't give you enough uh, aeration. So, but, for the, but it's also very water soluble. So when you get it wet, it just dissolves and it's beautiful stuff. So really, the only thing we're doing here, where'd that shovel go? Oh, right here. Oh, it's right here. The only thing we're doing here is we're actually just sifting Oops. Wait, I got that. We're sifting the big particles. So when you look at this, this is all just the finest particles. 
and if you were to look at it underneath a microscope, you would see that most of the particles were brown and somewhat oval shaped, and they're the actual castings. They're the actual, they're the actual worm poop. I'll just, well, I just actually. Because of the uh, yeah yeah this thing is taking a little bit of a beating a little bit rickety huh? yeah all right so let's go ahead and plug this sucker in and we'll do a little bit of worm casting part.